when you work as a team, it allows your team to work very well together. It allows me to bring new developers onto a project. It allows me to bring new developers into a company, uh, ramp them up very quickly. It's, it's just designed so that there are no secrets. You know, it's not, it's not like .NET or Java where you have to learn the magic, the magic stuff to make things work. A junior developer can be as good as a senior developer very quickly, or they can get close to it, where the difference is, is not whether or not you've read, you know, an 800 page book on this subject and another 800 page book on that subject and spent your entire last vacation watching Perl site videos. The question is, is do you understand the business logic? Do you understand the requirements? And I think it really levels the playing field for developers. Do you like to call yourself a software developer? Or do you like to call yourself a programmer? What we're gonna talk about today is getting some passive income as a programmer. I tend to be an expert in this. I, I happen to be an expert in this because that's what I did is I built a lot of passive income as a programmer. In fact, you can check out a lot of my passive income on my other channel on Bulldog Mindset. I do a monthly report and show you how I make my passive income from a lot of different sources. And I have a company called Simple Programmer. Hey, that's where you're at right now. And I generate some passive income mostly from this company. So that's what we're going to talk about. If you guys are just joining me for the first time, I'm John from simpleprogrammer.com on this channel. I teach you how to build your soft skills as a software developer. And I have a book that teaches you the same. It's called The Complete Software Developer Career Guide. It is like the number one best-selling software development book on Amazon right now. And it's because it's so damn big that you can use it as a weapon in these times of of turmoil in the world, okay? Uh, there's also an audio version of it. You can get it up here. You can get it down there by clicking the links and make sure you click the subscribe button. And give me a give me a like because because you're a charitable programmer or software developer, whatever you like to be called. And uh, and, you know, you, you like to like stuff. So, uh, yeah, just smash the like button. You know, it won't we won't, won't hurt you. All right. So passive income as a programmer. What can you do? Well, let me give you a couple ideas. We're going to go down a list here and I'm going to give you some ways that you can make money from your programming talent. So the first one is this. It's probably the most obvious one. It's how I got started. It's to create a programming blog. Now I know, I know what you guys are saying. Blogging is dead, John. You know what? When I started my blog in 2009, that's what people were saying. They're saying blogging is dead. Well, it wasn't dead. It, it earned me over a million dollars, so it wasn't dead at that time. It's still not dead now because guess what? You're gonna be searching on the web, on Google, and you're gonna be searching for programming related topics and you're gonna find websites and most of those are gonna be blogs. That's just how it works. If you have a good programming blog, you can make a lot of money. I actually have a course that's free on how to create a blog to boost your career. We'll put a link up in the cards in the description below. I think over like 5,000 developers, probably more than that, it's probably, I should check the numbers. I bet it's like 10,000 developers have taken that course and it's an email course delivered to you freely and it will teach you how to build a blog, how to get started and it's something that you should definitely do. Now, why can you make passive income from a blog and how? Well, the first way that you can do that is through ads, okay? Uh, you can still run Google ads on there. You can run Amazon ads on there if you'd like to. I don't really recommend that. You're not gonna make a huge amount of revenue from ads, but if you have a big enough blog and you get enough page views, you know, it could be some money and it's totally passive, right? I have a couple of programming blogs actually that I bought, <laughs> all right? and. I just, I don't do anything with them. I just put ads on there and I just make money every month from that. It's not a lot of money, but hey, you know, it's a couple hundred bucks here or there. It doesn't cost me anything, just a small hosting fee. I don't even know where they're hosted anymore. I think it might be on an Amazon cloud server somewhere that I'm paying like five bucks a month for. So that's one way. It's not the way that I highly recommend that you make money from your programming blog. I'd highly recommend what you do is you build up an audience with that programming blog and then you get an email list, just like I do. If you want to join my email list, go take the blogging course. That blogging course will actually sign you up to my email list and you can see some of my marketing tactics and how I make money. But once you have an audience, then what you can do is you can launch a product. You can sell something to that audience. There's a lot of different things you can sell. The very first product that I really sold to my audience 
in Simple Programmer was a course that I still have called How to Market Yourself as a Software Developer. Again, I'll put a link up here. I'll put a link down below. And just so you guys know, this is just how this worked. All right, is I had the blog. I started the blog in 2009. And then I believe in 2011 was when I really started to get tra traction on it. So I was doing at first like three blog posts a week. And then I was doing like one blog post a week. And I was collecting email addresses. I was giving away some information. I think I had like a PDF. At one point I had a, a video course that I was giving away in order to get email addresses. And I created a course called How to Market Yourself as a Software Developer. I had about 3,200 people, I think, on my email list. And I launched the course, okay, at a price of $300 with a $100 discount. So it was like basically $199 or $200. And within three days, three days, okay, I made over $25,000 by just sending a few emails, all right, from that audience. So that's pretty good. I mean, that was definitely a pretty good payday. And then what I did was, I set up that course so that people could buy it over time. And when they joined the email list, they got a little pitch for that. And for a long time, I was making like seven, $8,000 a month just from that one course passively, okay? Now, your results might vary, okay? But there's no reason why you couldn't do the same thing. And in fact, uh, not only could you do that with a blog, but today I would recommend doing that with YouTube. So for example, I have this YouTube channel. Okay, there's what, like 20,000 subscribers of, of you. Most videos get around a thousand views. Okay, so, you know, if I really wanted to like sell from this YouTube channel, I could, and I could make uh, a decent amount of money doing that. Let's say that I produce one video a week. Okay, and let's say that I had a course that's $200. And every time, you know, somehow within the within the video, I promoted that course, so I had some links below. And let's say that I sold, let's say five copies every time I made a video, all right? So five copies times $200 would be $1,000 a week, $4,000 a month that I could easily make off of a small YouTube channel with just 20,000 subscribers. It's not, it's not really big. I know that some of you think that's that's big, but it's really easy. If you devote a year or two years, let's say two years to creating YouTube videos in whatever niche that, that you want as a, as a software developer, as a programmer, excuse me, and you, you did that, you could get to a point realistically where you could have 20,000 subscribers and you could make a few thousand dollars a month just from that. All right, another way that you can make money passively is through affiliate links, right? So there's Amazon affiliate links on my blog. You can put them on your YouTube channel, right? You can promote someone else's stuff through my email list. Right now, I'll promote a lot of different things. I've promoted Tech Leads course before. It's really good, actually. He's got he's actually got a really good YouTube course as well. So, you know, you can do that. I did, I promoted uh, Interview Cake, also a really good product. I highly recommend that. In fact, we'll, we'll make sure we do put a link there. A lot of different products, right? So I, I do that with my list. And, and as you build up an email list, you can do that. And you can just have passive income coming from that. Another one, like we were just talking about, is a book, right? So I actually have a couple of books, a few books. This is actually the... Japanese version of this book, and I've got a couple other translations. In fact, another book here that I actually published, like that I'm the publisher, I'm not the writer, it's called Remote Work, really good book. You, you guys should definitely pick up this book because it, it really applies today. But uh, one thing you can do is you can write a book, and I've done it where I've written a book and had it published by a publisher. I won't get into the details of how it got canceled on Twitter, and, and you can you can check out the video if you want to on this channel, uh, and, and how they like pulled the publishing on the book, which, which actually turned out to be a good thing for me. I'm going to republish the book in a little bit called Soft Skills, but I've done it with a publisher, and I made a pretty good amount of money. I think with the published book with Soft Skills, I believe I was pulling in around two to three grand a quarter with my you know 10% royalty or whatever it was, which wasn't bad you know for a few years. I forget how old that book is, but I probably made a good like forty, fifty thousand dollars from that book of, of passive income once I wrote wrote the book. But this puppy, this complete software developer career guide, I don't know what the exact numbers are now, but I've sold it's gotta be close to a hundred thousand copies of this this book now. And so I've made you know, uh, at least over $200,000 on this book. In fact, every month I make about somewhere between five to $10,000 a month just on that book itself published. Now, not every software development book that you write is gonna be successful, right? Uh, you know, it, it really depends. I have good marketing. I had a pretty big audience. I had some good traction and it's a very good book. Like it really is a really good book. I'm telling you, like it's good. So, uh, you know, th that, that helps and I have an audio version of it, but there's no reason why you couldn't 
publish a book, okay, especially if you build up an audience from your YouTube channel or from a blog, and make at least a few hundred dollars a month of passive income. That would be easy. It would be very easy if you self-publish a book to make a couple hundred dollars a month. That, that shouldn't be any problem at all. Okay, uh, some other ways to make passive income as a developer. Uh, you know, some developers they will create uh, long-term maintenance plans for, let's say, website maintenance. You help someone set up a website, you design their website, and then you charge them to host it and to maintain it. You could charge them a couple hundred bucks a month, maybe a thousand bucks a month uh, on retainer. If if you you know if it's a bigger company, uh, th those are some some ways to do that as well. Uh, but uh, yeah, and, and you know, again, same thing with YouTube. Like you could run ads. Uh, you can you could pay for sp sponsorships. Is it, I wouldn't really quite call that passive. I've gotten some pretty decent sponsorship deals where I'll run ads before a video or run ads on my blog, and and they'll pay me for that. It's it's not completely passive because you have to do some work getting the the sponsorship set up. But once you have it set up, then you're you're making money from that. But those are just a few ideas here. I I didn't want to make this video too long. I've got a ton of other stuff actually. I have a, a course that you can check out called How to Make Money from Your Blog. It's got 10 ways to make money from your blog, which goes over 10 different ways that you can basically make money, most of them passive from, from your programming blog. The same thing could apply to a YouTube channel, a podcast, or, I mean, today, Instagram or TikTok account, although I guess TikTok, not so much anymore. Oops, uh, TikTok got, got the ax. Oh, uh, I can see that coming. I hate TikTok, but <laughs> that's just me. So, guys, uh, let me know what you think again some software developer or programmer that's the question for today leave a comment below uh, give a like to the video and if you're generating passive income from your as a software developer tell me how i want i want to hear what you guys have to say i've got a couple more ways if you really like this video if it's very popular i will make a second video telling some more ways to generate passive income i've got about probably 15 different passive income sources i haven't even talked about apps uh, but uh but there's there's a lot of ways to generate passive income with the software development skills that you already have all right guys that is it click the subscribe button i'll talk to you next time i gotta go eat